what would you do if they brought the power grid down? Massive power outages knocked out electricity across Spain and Portugal. Marks and Spencers are dealing with a huge cyber attack. But here's the real deal. Outages do happen. I live in the south and we have hurricane season here from July to October and sometimes it does hit us hard. Also, parts of Spain and Portugal recently lost power for almost an entire day. So conspiracy theory or not, you do need a backup system. I've already shown you guys our Jackery system in the garage and today I have something special for you. This is the Jackery 3000. We're gonna unbox it. That didn't go as planned. All right, so this is probably the easiest and cheapest way to go off grid and be able to power all of your essentials. It's also the lightest and the smallest three plus kilowatt hour solar generator out there. And it is a great option if you want to replace any noisy gas power generators because there's no electrical knowledge needed, no maintenance, no wiring, it's completely plug and play. So let me get it set up and show you guys how it works. Penny, watch out, babe. This dog. Sweetie. So I want to show you guys how flexible, lightweight, and portable this is. It is so easy to travel with if you were camping or whatever you really needed it for. It just folds right up. And you'll notice right here it's labeled top so you know which end goes up. You unfold it. And then right here, come over here, you can see the top end up. That's it, you just prop it up. There you go, that's your solar setup. And look over here, it even has a little sun indicator you can see right here. If the dot is in the center circle, you know that you're getting optimal light. So let's go ahead and get this charged up. All right, it's completely plug and play. So over here, we have the output and just plug it in. And what I love about this cable is that Without even plugging it in anywhere else, you can actually charge your phone or your tablet. It has a USB-C and a USB-A. So let me just show you guys this. This is one of the best parts. My phone is actually always low on battery, so I might as well take advantage of it charging. So right here, we have two DC inputs, and for each input, you can do either one 500 watt or up to three 200 watts like the one behind me. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in this one right now. We also have your AC right here if you want to plug it into the grid and then your output resets. And then let's go around to the front. We have your 12 volt right here. This is your power on off switch. You can see right now we're getting 141 watts. This number can fluctuate depending on how many panels you have plugged into it. We also have two USB-Cs, two USB-As. You have your DC, your AC. We have 410 volts right here and then this this is your RV port and it supports up to 30 amps on the front, but this is all in this tiny little lightweight box. So I love how portable this thing is. This thing packs a punch 3,600 watts with a surge of up to 7,200 and a 3,072 watt hour capacity. That means it can run your fridge for one to two days, plus your TV lights and more. It's got versatile ports, AC for your fridge or coffee maker, DC for your Wi-Fi router, fan or phone, even a TT30 for RV camping. Now let's get back to that power outage because what do you do if you own an electric car? Well, we have two. All right, so check this out. Now, I own pretty much every adapter because I've been driving EVs for nearly 10 years, but I'm gonna show you something that will blow your mind. This adapter right here, this takes your RV port and then it turns it into a NEMA 1450. Here is your Tesla charger. So everything is hooked up here. Now you can see if you look closely that the T is red on here because we need a neutral grounder. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in and this should turn green. There we go. All right. Now, if you're in a pinch, you can go ahead and charge your cars. Now this is also good if you weren't paying attention for whatever reason and you ran out of range, you could have that with you and charge your car. 
Now something also interesting when there is a power outage, did you guys know that gas stations don't work either? So actually having something like this and pairing it with an electric car is actually a win-win. So that Jackery 3000 has three kilowatt hours of energy in it and that translates to about 12 miles. Plus it charges off of solar. So if you had this set up with you, you could pretty much charge from the sun whenever you needed to. Not a lot of miles, but it's something when you're in a pinch. All right, can you guys hear that? You don't hear anything because it's actually whisper quiet. There's zero carbon emissions. We're charging from solar and it's so lightweight and portable. It actually fits inside your trunk. With less than 20 milliseconds UPS, it also means your appliances keep running smoothly during the blackout. Plus, Jackery's patented zero drain tech keeps 95% of the charge after a whole year. There's also five different ways that you can charge the Jackery 3000. So we have the solar setup right here. You can also charge it from the grid. You can do a hybrid of solar and grid or you can use the smart transfer switch that we already have installed right here. And then you can even charge it from the 12 volt inside of your car. And what's cool about solar is you can actually save up to 25% off of your electricity bill. So there's an extra saving with that as well. Plus it charges super fast. It can be fully charged in under two hours. So why do we need this? Well, when the power goes out, you're going to want a fridge to keep your food cold. You're going to want a fan to keep you cool. You're going to want lights to keep you safe or a phone to be able to call in emergencies. Otherwise it can start to feel like chaos. The Jackery Solar Generator Home Power 3000 powers all of these devices at once and it will power them for over two days. And if you add solar panels, it will last even longer. It really adds that extra piece of security. Now I'm not here to spread fear because realistically the US power grid is massive. We're talking 7,300 power stations, 5,500 substations and 160,000 miles of lines. So a secret sabotage plot is pretty unlikely. And you guys might remember past outages like in 2021, there was one in Texas, 2003, there was one in the Northeast, but those were from technical issues or weather, not some shady government plot. But we all know that outages do happen and that's why having a backup like the Jackery 3000 is just smart. Also, Jackery is not just for your home. There's so many great use cases for it. You can bring it camping with you. You can use it on a job site. It's the smallest and lightest three kilowatt hour solar generator out there. And Jackery is really all about making a brand for themselves. They're focused on renewable energy, a zero carbon and lifestyle and I think they're doing a really good job. So the Jackery 3000 is really a great option if you're prepping for a storm, you want to go off-grid camping, or if you are a doomsday prepper, it's a great option for you. I'll link everything that you need to know down in the description below. And remember when you use my links, you're also helping to support this channel. All right, we'll catch you next time.